Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest Eleven. As you can see by my, by my playtime there, uh, I did I have spent some hours getting strength seeds in the Galapagos Desert in preparation for the Slayer of the Sands boss. But yeah, Silvando insisted on joining us. Right now, he is in the, a more of a nuisance than a help. Actually, unfortunately. Uh, the one thing he can do is if your character's getting inflicted by status ailments, I, I think he's also kind of, uh, like Veronica and the respect that he'll actually try to heal them for you, like he'll slap you. Like if you get confused, he'll try to slap you silly to break you out of it. Anyway, update on stats. Yeah, I didn't really give the Luminary too much as far as strength because he honestly doesn't really need it as much as, uh, like, Eric or Veronica. So, but yeah, I'll, I'll be getting him more strength later, but I'm not really prioritizing it. Yeah, I got a lot more strength for Eric, mainly because of Boomerang's. Boomerang's attack power sucks, so what are the game designers telling you at this point in the game if you know how to farm strength seeds? Raise, raise his strength. That's what they're saying. Alright. <laughs> the reason why this game is set up the way it is is so you can farm strength or any other stat that you want and you can uber fucking buff the shit out of your characters. That's why they have a super hard difficulty mode called uh, Draconian Stronger Monsters. It's for people that want to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I didn't give Serena any seeds yet. And yeah, Veronica, I gave her a bunch. Uh, also with Veronica, uh, this Lashings of Love ability is better because uh, I have basically come to the realization that, oh shit, brownies in this area are humanoid type. So this is actually a really good skill. I, I believe, I don't, I don't know the exact percentage, but I believe it's 50% more damage to humanoid types, but I could be wrong about the percentage. I, I don't remember exactly. But this skill right here, if you raise Veronica's strength, is very good at killing uh, brownies. So, yeah, it's going to be better than any fucking spell that she has right now. Like Sizz or Bang. She can still deal pretty decent damage with Sizz if you give her a... Uh, well, at this point, the heavy wands don't really raise your magical might by that much. Uh, so you're not really going to get that much extra damage. But Veronica's Magical Might stat is pretty high by itself as it is, so... Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't really have any problems dealing damage with spells and Veronica. Uh, I like using Bang when it's one of those fuck cluster uh, enemy formations where I got like a couple enemies on the sides and I got like a formation in the middle. Obviously, I use Bang in those situations, and it still deals good damage. I mean, Veronica's just amazing. Raise Veronica's strength. Don't make her a one-trick pony. I see everybody, I see a lot of people that play this game, they fucking make Veronica a one-trick pony. Oh, also I got Vet, Eric, and Veronica pepped up in preparation for the next boss. Now eventually I'll get some seeds for Serena, but at the moment it's not really a priority because she doesn't really have skills I'm going to be spamming a lot. I mean, Deliverance is good for Skull Riders, because they're undead. Figured that out, just farming seeds and fucking around. I mean, I should have figured it out last playthrough, but I didn't really... I don't know, I don't really think about enemy types unless they're like obvious ones like dragons, you know? Like these Flythons are dragon types. Uh, I believe the scorpion guys, or the whatever, I think they're nature types. Darling. <laughs> the Principu. Yeah, man, he needs us. Yeah. 
But yeah, uh, with Eric, this is my character. I'm gonna show you my setup with him uh, from the get-go here. I didn't give Eric any strength seeds yet in this playthrough, so what I have is what I have. I made sure I gave him Cobra Strike and Victimizer. Now, the reason why I say go for Poison for this next boss is because sleep can be nullified with a physical attack, and since Silvano is an AI bot damage sponge, he likes to break that. You can't control him, so use Poison instead and use Victimizer. That's a much better strategy to go with. Um, for non-boss fights, I'm mainly going to be going... I'm going to switch it up to Boomerangs, because I found Power Throw is pretty decent. Eventually, I'm going to work my way to Toomerang, uh, which is great. I mean, Toomerang is going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be great until I get uh, Double Down, which is up here. But yeah, Double Down doesn't get unlocked until Act 2, or 3 maybe even, I don't know. No, I think it's 2. Uh, Metal Liquor I don't really give a shit about at all. You could do, I guess, extra damage to, like if you got a pack of Metal Slimes you want to deal damage to, you can use this, I guess. I don't know, I might try to use it more in this playthrough. Oh, and yeah, I, I guess I could... No, I can't. Because I don't have this. Okay, never mind. I'm not equipped with that anyway, so what am I saying? Uh, with Veronica, I'm, yeah, I'm just saving up skill points for Twin Dragon Lash, man. I gotta get it. ASAP. But for now, let's stick on this boss. The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. <sighs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Yeah, man. This is the scariest thing we've seen yet, eh? Our Panadam Principal show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Every time I hear this guy talk, he just cracks me up. I don't know why. Actually, like poor old Ferris you guys. Has been struck well, if you're, if you're laughing, you know why. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Oh no, I just, I, I just. Come on, gang. This little drama needs a Endlessly humor. amused by over-the-top weirdos. Even Jasper has his moments. He's supposed to be, you know, kind of like the bad guy and shit. Oh yeah, keep an eye on those claws. Those claws are pretty nasty, but yeah, we are going to start out the fight with Tundra and Lightning. This is going to be great. This is going to deal lots of damage. Oh, yeah, and I have bunny tails on everybody still, in case you're wondering. I, I'm going to keep bunny tails on. It's going to be the best thing I'm going to have for a while. You're not going to like this. Yeah, and then, of course, when the poison doesn't work, it fucking sucks. Okay, so let's buff. Yeah, we got to buff Veronica here. Actually, does that even matter if he gets off a fucking critical hit? I should actually try and get Dazzle on him instead. I hope this works. Me too. Yeah, there we go. Deal damage, he's blind, yeah. Oh, don't do that. No. 
Yeah, because that will lower your defense by 50%. Not that our defense is that high to begin with. It's pretty low. At this point. Uh, yeah, Lashings of Love is going to be crap against this guy. What should I go... Magic Barrier... I don't... I don't think this guy uses spells. So Fizzle's not really going to do anything. Yeah, let's just go with, um... Sleep or Confuse. Hmm, let's try Confuse. Yeah, there we go, I got it. Fuck yeah. So he's confused, he's hallucinating. Shit, I thought I was gonna be making use of Greatsword Guard. I guess not. Uh, Accelerator. Ooh. How the hell are you hitting me? Lucky ass. Oh no! Are you poisoned yet? Yeah, there we go. Now he's poisoned, now I can use Victimizer on his ass. If I, even, if I can even get to Eric's turn. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess we're getting to Eric's turn. Holy shit, Veronica, what are you doing to yourself there, girl? Oh yeah, Serena learned mid-heal at, I think it was level 16 or 17, I don't remember which one at the moment. No longer hallucinating. No. Well, that's okay. That is quite alright. The guy is poisoned, so let's finish him off. Done! Eat it, bitch. Wow, man. I think this is the fucking best that I've ever fucking smoked this guy, ever, playing this game. Well, I, see, my, my last playthrough in vanilla, I didn't actually start really farming seeds until after getting Jade and Rab. That will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. I did get really lucky with the status ailments in that fight there. I mean, that was some <laughs> that was some good luck. <laughs> the battle is won. The slayer of the sands is bested. All in a day's work for the prince of Galopolis. <laughs> you saw me, man, did you not? You saw the People's Prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Of course, Your Highness. <sighs> you have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... ...valuable... ...contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Yeah, man, well, you better deliver. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> to Galopolis, men! We return as heroes! Yeah! Cringe. Total cringe. <laughs> I'm not saying some stuff that I that I say is uh, uh well, entirely bereft of cringe, of but you're right, Silvando. 
Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Yeah. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Shit, he needs more than a push, man. He needs a fucking swat anyway, in the ass. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. <laughs> or actually not. More like a boot in the ass. Be a better way of saying it. Lost without him? Are you fucking kidding me, Serena? He was terrible in that fight. Actually, no, he was okay. He he helped with status ailments. That was the only thing he did good. Otherwise, the attacking was... Eh. Nah, well, we can kind of feel sorry for him a little bit, but... Not really. When he starts saying like, it's not my fault, it's no fault of mine, it's like, no, no, when he starts saying stuff like that, then I, I have a problem with that. Like, nothing he's done has, uh, I mean, because basically, just trying to find people to do shit for him, he's just, yeah, he's just fucking not owning up. And creating this false illusion. Wait, am I healed up? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. We gotta go... Oh yeah, let's just go back to town. What am I doing? We gotta check out this... Kick-ass festival, man. Happy Festival of Fireworks, yeah? Is that what we're gonna be doing here? More circus stuff? Fire your blacksmith. Apparently he doesn't know how to make a decent chain for fuck's sake. Friends, we have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Yes, yes, we have nothing to fear with the prince on our side. <laughs> See, look what you did. Come on, Princey Poo. Look at your adoring fans. Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. <laughs> Father. Father. I cannot. <gasps> Repeat after me now. A knight's word? Uh, a knight's word is his bond. His kingdom, his master. 
Never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? I. I wish to be remembered as a knight of Columbus! Now, based on this cutscene, you think swords are Silvando's best weapon. You'd be wrong! Whips and knives are both better for Silvando. I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? I'm so well versed in the ways of chivalry. Are you a knight? Who, oh, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. <laughs> yeah, which is essentially a smoke screen. It's a ruse. It's basically what Solano was saying. Like, nah, man. I don't know anything about that. Yes, I'm just a goofball. It, it was he who rode my horse in the Southern National, and he who captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. Paris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you, it was more than any boy could be expected to bear. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I'm Hendrick? sure. Hendrik? Isn't he a bad guy? Oh, wait. No, he so thinks we're bad guys. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Yeah. Sure was, buddy. But I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Father, I... <sighs> Whoops. Forgive me. 
What, you thought it was gonna be easy getting this freaking tree branch? I don't know. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. So yeah, we're like even farther away from the rainbow now. Like we don't even A thousand pardons. Yeah. I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly I did not. It is scant consolation, I am sure, but please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat. Yeah, the crossbow and, an and um, way to yeah, thanks to a few of you, I did ask in previous videos, I just, uh, I haven't had a chance to say yet, but yeah, apparently the crossbow is still in the game, as you can see. Uh, the only difference is they remove the target shit, so you don't have to do that stupid mini game anymore. Uh, if you want 100% completion, which is good. I hated that shit. That's an omission I don't mind. But I am sure there will be other Gallim. Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, in fact, we're we're on wild goose chase now. <sighs> or wild bow chase or whatever the hell you want to say it. So yeah, we're going to be going to Gondolia, but hey, we get to go to Gondolia, which is another awesome, awesome place to go. I, I, yeah, I mean, the locales in this game are great. I like exploring them. It's my favorite game of all time, man. I enjoy the fuck out of it. This game represents everything about the great Dragon Quest series and more. And I, and I have a feeling that extra stuff to it in 2D mode is going to be great too. I heard it's nothing to quote, you know, alert the cops by screaming about it. But, you know, it's some nice additional stuff. I think like an extra super boss. So, yeah, the expert on crossbows, what, is, what does he do now? Does he give you something else? Yeah, you know, in vanilla Dragon Quest XI, did they... Did they make you talk to the, um... To the king again to get another item? Or the sultan again to get another item? I seem to remember doing something stupid in my last playthrough where... I zoomed away and they're like, no, no, you need to go back to the sultan for something. I think that, that was, actually, no, it was an act too. It was an act two. That was that fucking uh, that one item you got to get from him. You got to come here to get an item, and I can't remember what that item was off the top of my head. I know it's an act two. It's all the items you got to collect to make the sword of light. I just don't remember what the fuck they give you here in act two. But yeah, there you go, man. Crack shot, crossbow, and a new party member very shortly. What can you do?
Just aim at any monster you fancy fighting and let loose a bolt. The maddening, the, the maddened monster will then make its way towards you, leaving you with one final decision, whether to run away or stand your ground and fight. Okay, well thank you for the advice. And also, thank you for not telling me to go and uh, shoot targets in random places. Silvano left. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe... Maybe he'll go somewhere else and... do another show. Right? Oh. Hee What the fuck? I thought that was weird, man. Why the hell are you talking like a woman? Yeah, that's more like it. Holy shit. Core blimey, that's more like... That's kind of the accent I would expect to hear. Not tee hee. I mean, what are you, selfie from Final Fantasy VIII? something princely about you. Oh! You might be right about that. Right now I'm fostering good relations with another prince from another At kingdom, last. so... I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the you know, door. diplomacy, as they say. Huh? Even though my kingdom is just a big pile of rubble. You again. What do you want this time? Hey, ya! Ta da! Oh, huh? don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. And why not, buddy? <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. <laughs> Weirdo. Weirdo! But no, Solvando's great. Every character in this game is useful. I mean, usually in JRPGs, there's one fucking this character that really sucks. No for an answer, huh? in, a, in a fucking, you know, on, on a main cast. Now. But no, nah, every character in this game is great. So, tell me. As far as usefulness in battle and all that stuff. Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. That's true. Well... Mm, then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry, and... The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. <laughs> well, what's you hey, you making fun of circus idea, midgets? Then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? Oh, yeah. 
And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute. Yeah, that is pretty Will sweet. You be to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander. But of course, sweetie. That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why Gondolia, of course! Lucky! <laughs> so what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmates! Westward ho! So yeah, it's definitely a good thing we met this guy, huh? But yeah, now we have Silvano on board, we can actually switch characters out. So if we want to save a character's prep, it's just a little bit easier now. Not as easy as we'd like, of course. We'd like more party members, but... I mean, at this, we got a little bit more flexibility now with five characters, so... There you go. But yeah, as I was farming for strength, I was hoping that I'd be able to get uh, my characters pepped up so they could um, pull off Tundra and Lightning. I mean, that's that's what you want to do, man. But that's the hardest part of this game is figuring out how to get characters pepped up when you want them. And hopefully, game mechanics don't erase your fucking pep! Ah. So yeah, I got to ride for Prince Ferris, huh? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, the racetrack. You know, we should stop by there. Yeah, once Silvano joins, uh, yeah, let's explore Galapagos again, and, uh... Fabulous! Yeah, I got plenty of gold now. So I shouldn't have any problem buying any special, uh, horse reins that I've heard about. I, I haven't heard about them. I've seen them in 2D mode. I wasn't going to mention it. But I couldn't buy them because in my 2D playthrough I didn't have nearly as much gold. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Guy must be rich, huh? He must be like a noble or something. Only nobles got ships. Right? All the lords and ladies. Anyway, oh yeah, let's just go straight there. What's this guy saying now? Now she's saying nonsense. <laughs> yeah, this guy is a fibber. Yeah, dude, you lost credibility. I think you need to hoodwink some other people, man. I don't think these people are listening. Oh, no, this guy's still listening. Man. Hey, poo guy. Picking up horse poo is what I do. Yeah, plenty of horse poo for this guy to pick up, eh? Yeah, and I've actually heard that in Dragon Quest Builders 2, you pick up shit for fucking, like, what is it, crafting recipes in that game or some shit? I'm probably gonna have to get those games eventually. But, yeah, it's pretty funny stuff, eh? Oh, now FaZe is training harder than ever. Alrighty.
All right, man, we get to race this guy out there, huh? Yeah, the first few races should be pretty easy. I'm just hoping that this item that I can get does the job, man. Like, what does it do exactly? Does it just make you faster? Yeah, because I, I, I was wondering how they were going to do the racing in 2D mode, and when it automatically switched to 3D mode, I was like, oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Cause yeah, I was looking for, I'm like, oh shit, I can't wait to see how they do the horse racing in 2D mode. And then all of a sudden I see a loading screen, I'm like, what? I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> oh well. Don't really do, don't tell me you've never heard that before. It's how hit people greet each other these days. Come on, let's say it together now. Don't really do. What kind of fucking stupid shit is that? Okay, are, are you the guy that sells that thing? Yeah, I'm definitely not the world's greatest jockey at all. Use them to steer your steer and the competition will not stand a chance. 10,000 gold? Hell yeah! That's Trump change. But yeah, if it's not Trump change, uh, you can, uh, you can craft, uh, fur ponchos. They sell for around a thousand. You can easily fucking get 10,000 gold. And if you're, you know, if you're low on cash at this point, that's what you can do, alright? Alright, so the silver cup is locked. We have an easy setting, a difficult setting. So let's do the easy one first. Are you planning to race with gold man? That's a fine idea, though I must warn you that I cannot include your time in the record books if you do so. Do you still want to use them? So? Champions challenge? What is the champions challenge? What is that? Does that even matter? Alright, well fuck the record books. As long as I get the item, in this case the slime earrings, that's all I give a fuck about. So, whatever, let's give it a try here. Yeah, alright, fuck this shit. Let's just skip the stupid introductions. Now everybody knows this, ever since pole position on Atari, or whatever, some of the games like that, you want to hit the button right at go to get a speed burst. Oh shit, this makes it so you never run out of stamina? Oh, I'm down with that. That way I can just, oh okay, I can just keep my freaking foot on dash the entire time and yeah they can't do shit I should still practice and race like you know I'm racing for real I guess right oh wait don't tell me that the record books have something to do with some kind of uh, accolade or something like that. Well, actually, does does the Switch even have a trophy system like uh, Steam and PS4? Because if that's the case, I'm not even going to care. I, I don't know. I don't really guess I care that much even for the PC or PS4 version. But I wouldn't mind platinum this game. It would be nice. If that's even possible. Awesome. And we get a nice little consolation prize.
Yeah, we're gonna do the bronze cup again, except we're gonna do the difficult one. I guess I'm, I guess a lot of people must have complained and said the racing was too hard. I would agree though. That I agree with. Is it as bad as chocobo racing in Final Fantasy X? Well, at least if you stay with that long enough you'll eventually win. I mean I have won that before. I haven't won all these races before in this game. Not once. I've tried. Alright, so a gold bracer is already crap that I don't need. Oh yeah, an assassin card. Fuck yeah, man. Gal Palatin guard. There we go. Get a new costume for the luminary. So is it even... Since I have like unlimited stamina and all that shit, is it even... Well, I'm gonna show all the races. Fuck it. At least once. I mean, you can't lose with this fucking golden ring, right? Right, game? Wow, look at these guys. Look at that guy up there, man. Look how fast he is. But the thing is, though, on the hard races... Oh, shit, I took the wrong way, man. I should have taken the middle one. Oh, well. I'm still ahead of those assholes. Oh fuck, I missed it. <laughs> Whoops! Bam! Ah, I always fuck that part up, man. Yeah, that... If you take the side route there, it's a shortcut. You probably want to do that for the bus time. Okay, so the Galapolitan Garb is... Yeah, again, it gives you a new costume, gives you a charm bonus. Uh, I like the fur poncho better. And... Yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool costume, I guess. Although, I, I don't know, again, I like his default better, so... I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I, I don't think this guy rocks the GQ8 costume at all very well, so I'm not gonna go with that. 
But yeah, this assassin card is pretty rare, so you want to get this. There is a way to duplicate this later by virtue of the time fuckery of the plot. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a recipe maybe at the very, very, very end of the game that allows you to craft them at the forge. So yeah, this item is pretty rare. Unless you can get more of them in the definitive version of this game. If that's the case, let me know. I stand no chance. Assassin card. Oh yeah, man. I love this one. Very good accessory. Yeah, when you upgrade to plus three, you get uh, plus two percent to your critical chance. If you pair this with another one, you get plus four percent. Uh, with claw users, these are really good. If you don't have anything better. Obviously, equipping... These aren't like... You know, end-all, be-all accessories. Like, those end-game accessories like Elfin Charms, Calf Con Rings, uh, Goddess Rings, that are better. But, until you get shit like that, this is some good shit, man. Assassin card is really, really good. Or, it's... Yeah. Like, it is a card, right? Yeah, it's a card. Good. What? A mysterious power is blocking my way. I guess I gotta leave town. That's usually what that means, right? When a mysterious power blocks your way, you gotta leave town or advance the plot or do some kind of event fuckery to get your freedom back. Give me some. Oh, a horse healer. Oh, well, that's handy. Yeah, we didn't have this in DQ11. Yeah, no wonder I don't remember getting stuck in this area. Yeah, I mean. Because in, in vanilla DQ11, you won't get fucking blocked from using zoom at this point. You're free to go anywhere you want, or anywhere you want to zoom to. So I'm guessing this is the plot event right here that was keeping me from doing that. Yeah, that's nice. You don't need the horse spell anymore. Ah, oh, damn. All these nice quality of life things. Yeah, they did a really good job with this, uh, this version of the game, man, so far.
I can't even knock the visuals, man, because it's portable. It still looks good portable, too. But yeah, I'll probably end up farming some more strength seeds out in the desert. Oh, I probably shouldn't have saved over that one. Hopefully this recording doesn't go to shit. Well, so far so good. But yeah, Solvando. He's got the oomph sprout. He's got accelerator, decelerator. He's got reheal, which I never use. 9 HP, regen. It's, I never use that. It's garbage. But Silvano gets hustle dance. Which we actually, which we absolutely want to get. Uh, I'll see. Yeah, he yeah, can use swords, but I don't recommend swords for him. Uh, he's good with knives. And he's got some great whip abilities. Like Star Strike, you can flick Dazzle. Uh, yeah, Trammel Ash is good. Hit the Hay is good. Veronica's got that one as well. Worm Whip is good. Uh, Veronica will get Worm Whip later on in the game, but right now Solano's the only character that has it. And Last Batter is pretty good, I guess. I, I don't remember the damage formula, but it, uh, it does have a chance to beguile certain enemies. I think it's like a 20% chance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that all these status ailment attacks are 20%. It's like a 20% chance you'll inflict the ailment on the enemy, provided they um, have no resistance to that ailment. If they have resistance, it's probably more, but or less, I should say. But, there you go. And, oh yeah, what else? That's it. Oh yeah, and the Fight Fantastic, very good pet power. Rough and Tumble, in theory, sounds cool, but... I don't know, I've never really used it or made use of it. Shocking Twist, I've never used that one. And, I, well, I, was, I started showing some of these off in my vanilla playthrough. With all those pet powers I was farming it, or... Pet powers. Pet pops I was farming. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start all that shit over again, obviously. Does does this version of the game have any new pet powers? No, oh, I would like to know if you guys know. Can you get double naughty sticks in this version of the game? Please say yes. Please don't be lying to me if that man, if you can get double naughty sticks in this version of the game, oh that'd be the shit. Yeah, because as far as I know, in vanilla DQ11, you can only get one. But, uh, anyways, that's all for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. And we're going to move on to Galapagos in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.